I'm not going to let you give up on you. Mm -mm. Talk that talk, George. I'm not going to let you give up on you. I might not know you, but today I'm your biggest fan. I'm your biggest fan. God put me in the position to help you get position. So you won't break. So you won't break. I'm here to speak into your life. <clears throat> Talk to him, George. I'm here to speak into your life. And life is not over for you. Life is not over for you. You might have had some hard days. You might have had some challenging days. But I read for you to have no days and no days at all. And that's coming from the big speaker. Big dog. See this message. Yeah, that's real. Make up your own mission statement. What do you want to be in life? And once you do that, now you can work with somebody to get better. You can work with yourself to get better. But until you know what you want to stand for, you will always just be sitting down. You'll never stand for anything. What is the difference between depression and joy? I think it's purpose. When you wake up in the morning and your life means something to somebody other than you. If you don't go do the things that you're going to do, people's lives will suffer. To live in service, not to you, but to live in service to humanity. I feel like that is the purest form of joy. It doesn't help to keep that little 2%, 3%, 4%, 1% percent that's different from reality. It doesn't help. That little thing will eat away at you when you wish that this wouldn't have happened or you wish you would have made a different decision. You complain about it. You blame you know, other people. You blame the circumstances and you get eaten up by that stuff. Stop doing that. You got to come out your comfort zone because your comfort zone is the deadliest place you will ever be. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. Your ability to go all in, and when I say all in, I mean all the f in. Every moment, every minute, every hour, every day, every week, every month, every f***ing year, for as long as it f***ing takes for you to get where you're going, you should be consumed with that path. If you want to show me you want to win that bad, pack your calendar. You pack your calendar, that's how you show the world that you want to win because everything is based off of activity. It's very hard when you go up against somebody that shows up every flipping day where you sit there and say, take a damn week off, go on vacation. Why don't you slow down for a day or a month or two months or three months? Please, let me catch up. Because hungry people, they're just more urgent than everybody else. Ego is the anesthesia that deadens the pain of stupidity. Y'all might have a relative in mind you want to send that to. Let me say it again. Ego is the anesthesia that deadens the pain of stupidity. Pride is the burden of a foolish person. John Wooden coached basketball at UCLA for a living, but his calling was to impact people. And with all those national championships, guess what he was found doing in the middle of the week? Going into the cupboard, grabbing a broom, and sweeping his own gym floor. You want to make an impact? Find your broom. Every day of your life, you find your broom. You grow your influence that way. That way you're attracting people so that you can impact them. Final lesson. Can I teach you this right here? Stop looking for a man for what he'll give to you and look for a man for what he will sacrifice for you. Right. That's a huge difference. There's a saying, when the devil ignores you, then you know you're doing something wrong. Wait, no, I'm not done now. <laughs> you know, the, the devil goes, oh, no, leave him alone. Man, he's my favorite. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> Don't you right, bother right. him. Yeah. Conversely, when the devil comes at you, maybe it's because you're trying to do something right. That's the fear. The fear is never reaching your potential. That's it. That always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, always yep. not doing the right thing. And then one day you're an old man. Yep. And you look back and go, God, I could have been great. So I read this quote this morning, and this will completely change your mindset. 
You are what you are, and you are where you are because of what has gone into your mind. You can change what you are, and you can change where you are by changing what goes into your mind. So what that means is this endless scrolling shit, this doesn't matter. That TikTok shit doesn't matter. The Snapchat, the Facebook, none of that matters. You guys got to get off of that and intrigue your mind with things that actually matter and benefit yourself. Start listening to audiobooks, the music you listen to. Stop feeding your ears with that says hoes, drugs, all that because it's just going to go into your mind. Stuff that says depression and sadness, you're just going to get sad. If I played you a hype song right now, you'd probably get hype, you know, dance around. If I played a sad song, you'd get sad. Like, it, it, it just applies. It's common sense how music works, how social media works. Social media is a very depressing thing that nobody sees. It's people living their best lives. It's no fails. It's the best life they can ever have. It's 100%, and it makes people wish that they were there, and it makes you just wish that you were in that position and wish this and that, but really their life is just as basic as yours. They're just making it seem better on social media because that's what social media is. Don't let your mind soak this in and think you need better. If I gave you a million dollars, you'd spend it because you don't understand what to do. Every wealthy person has the same mindset because they understand to benefit themselves and understand that they have to go through a struggle to get to a better place. You have to understand how to do that to get to a better place. You will never I don't think you get celebrated enough. You should be celebrated for every aspect of your growth and your growing pains. You should be celebrated for your creativity, for your fearlessness, for your persistence and determination. You should be celebrated for all the effort that you put into building your future, for being different, for not being given enough credit. Making money is not difficult. What's difficult is acquiring the knowledge and mindset to effectively grow and manage wealth. With a firm grasp of the tendons of success and a relentless work ethic, becoming rich is an extremely easy task. With determination, anyone can make millions of dollars from anywhere in the world. The best way to contend with, with problems, with issues, with adversity, is action, is by taking action. The more you sit and the more you wait, the, the worse it's gonna get. So action for me is a cure for a lot of problems that we have in life. You guys, remember, if you want to be successful, learn from the other people's mistakes. Don't learn from the successful stories. Learn from the mistakes, the other people. No matter how smart you are, you will encounter these mistakes. You learn from mistakes not because you will be able to avoid mistakes. You will able to, when these mistakes come, these suffer comes, you know how to deal with it, how to face it. Get away from these people that's in your life that ain't doing nothing. Get away from people in your life that's hate. Get away from your family members that ain't ever opened the business. Get away from your family members that ain't ever followed their dream. Get away from your family members that ain't never been nowhere but to the family reunion. Get away from them. Get away from them. I had to do it. When I told everybody I was getting into comedy, man, oh Lord have mercy. You can't get into comedy. You ain't even funny. How you gonna make money telling jokes? In the beginning, it looked like they was right. But I never gave up. I don't care how good you are in anything. You don't have discipline. You ain't nobody. Right. You're nothing without discipline. Because you give up on the slightest struggle without discipline. Discipline is doing what you hate to do, but do it like you love it.
Kings have honor, soldiers have bravery, and poets have heart. But all I have is heart.